Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting and I'm like so overwhelmed by what's on my table right now. And today I'm here to show you guys my highlight collection and I have quite a few highlights. Now this video is in no way, shape or form trying to brag about the amount of highlights I have or the amount of makeup I have. It's honestly just to show you guys what kind of a hoarder I am. I just wanted to show you guys my highlight collection and then quickly just talk about each one and tell you guys which ones are my favorite, what's like my favorite combo. I have drugstore, I have high end, I have limited edition. I have quite a few highlights. I asked you guys on Instagram how you guys wanted me to kind of set up and how you wanted me to organize and you guys wanted it divided by like colors. So I divided my highlights into three large sections a silver kind of champagne tone highlight, a rosy kind of pinky highlight, and then the golden and like bronzy highlights, which the silver and the bronze obviously I have way more of than that like rosy pinky category. I just want to show you guys my collection, again just briefly talk about them. It's super hard to swatch highlights, I'm going to try my best, but I guess you guys are just going to have to trust my opinions and what I feel about these highlights. I'm also trying out the new Marc Jacobs foundation. I had a sample in the shade beige, but I'm not really feeling the color. I feel like it's a little light around here. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but this is the second time I use it, and it's the second time that this kind of happens, so let's just ignore that. I also had to just throw on a tank top because it is super hot in my room. So again, I'm going to go into three categories, but besides that, I'm going to just kind of show you guys the highlights and explain them, but I'm not going like in preference from what I like to what I don't like or low end to high end. It's kind of just how I organized it on my table that's how I'm going to show you so I'm going to just go with what I see first and I'm starting off with the silver tone highlights. The first highlight I want to show you is actually a palette. It's a highlighting palette and this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Now I guess you can not consider this a highlighting palette or a highlight but to me it's a highlight. Um, basically it's these three shades right here. You have dim light then you have incandescent, incandescent, totally butchering that, light and then radiant light. So it's these three shades right here. I believe this palette is back in stock on Sephora. Basically, these are like really soft, almost like finishing powders. Some people use them as finishing powders, but I use them as highlights, especially when I'm doing makeup for... I love this palette for wedding season and like when I'm doing wedding makeup because they just kind of like reflect nice light. My favorite one is this one in the middle, the one that I cannot pronounce, but it's just really pretty. Like this swatch does no type of justice. It kind of gives you like a lit from within kind of glow and you can use this to set your concealer and set your makeup, but I love to just apply this middle shade like all over. It's so pretty and I love this palette. I think it's worth it, especially if you're into like a more subtle glow. This isn't going to give you that like stark highlight that I have on right now. This is nice just like all over if you're into like minimal makeup. So definitely a good deal and if you can get your hands on it and you like a subtle glow, definitely get your hands on this because it's really good. Next one is a newer highlight in my collection. This is the Natasha Denona Glow Powder in the shade, I guess it's just the All Over Glow Face and Body Shimmer in powder form. And I really haven't played around with this much. I used it once on Snapchat and you guys seem to really like it. Um, Natasha Denona is known for her highlights so I really should like start playing with this because I feel like it's really going to give me a nice glow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it reflects a really nice sheen. It's not like a glitter. It's just a nice sheen. So I love these kind of powders because they're so buttery. You can apply them on your collarbone or your chest and it's going to look really good. Now again, I haven't really played with this one much, so I can't say much about it as far as like highlight on the face, but from what the swatch is giving me, it's looking like a nice, beautiful sheen. The packaging is amazing, obviously. It's like this all rose gold package, really cute, and I love that it has a mirror. Uh, most highlights don't come with mirrors, actually, so that's definitely a plus. Again, I don't know much about that one because I haven't actually tested out my face too much. I've used it once and I remember liking it, but I feel like I need to use it a couple more times so that you guys know, so maybe I'll use it in tutorials so you guys can actually see it on my face rather than me just talk about it. This next one's going to be a little bit of a fail because I actually can't take the package out to show you guys the name but it says Kiko eyeshadow and actually one of my subscribers, one of you guys, put me onto this and it's an eyeshadow and if you're not familiar with Kiko, girl, you're missing out. Kiko is an amazing brand. They have one in Queen Center Mall in New Jersey, the New Jersey Mall. 
This is a shadow and I can't take it out of here. Hopefully my brother can take it out of this package later so I can list it down below. But it's a nice, buttery, smooth eyeshadow. But you can use this as a highlight. I feel like this is a pretty good dupe for Opal. This is so hard to see. This is the Kiko shadow and then this is Opal. And they're pretty identical in person. So I'm definitely going to list that shadow down below for people to check out when they're in the Kiko store. Because it definitely is a dupe for Opal. And it's an eyeshadow, so you're paying the price of an eyeshadow. You can use it as an eyeshadow, but you can also use it as a highlight, which is awesome. And they come, like, in little pans, and you can buy this little kind of casing for it at the store. Next up, we have a limited edition highlight, and this is the Chanel Camellia de Plumes Powder Illuminatory... What? I don't know. Highlighting powder. And my friend Stephanie actually got this for me for my birthday, and this is such a unique highlight almost is a gray or green I don't even use this because it is limited edition and because it's so gorgeous I don't want to like ruin this flower this is super super pigmented it's almost like a silver a true silver not a champagne not a just straight up almost green because it's so reflective and it gives you like a really nice sheen I haven't really used this one much because again it is limited edition and I don't want to ruin it but I do have it, so if you wanted to know what it looked like, that's what it looks like. Next, we have the Cover FX Highlight in Moonlight, and this is their Illuminator. I mean, this is pretty silver. Like, in the pan, it looks almost like it's going to be a matte peach color. The color in the pan is super misleading because once you apply it on your face, it's like a nice sheen of silver, but still has like a peachy undertone. I really like this for days when I don't want to wear too much makeup and I just want like a nice glow. Like that stuff really glows and illuminates your face. I'm like staring at the viewfinder because it's so distracting to see like this beaming highlight here. But this one's good. Um, it's a nice illuminator. It's not really like that stark highlight. Again, it, you can build it up. But this is good for someone also who doesn't like too much of a glitter because this is a true sheen. And I don't know. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this one. And, I don't know, it's good. It's good stuff. Next up, we have Makeup Forever Compact Shine On in the shade 3. Nicole Guerrero, I think, put us all onto this. In the pad, it's super boring and just flat. But you can kind of see, like, all these reflex of glitter. And this one is a very thin highlight. Like, it's so, so thin. You can almost barely feel it when you put it on, and it gives you that really pretty lit from within glow. I feel like this really is a true shine. It's kind of cool because it comes with a little powder puff, not that I use those, and a mirror and a magnetic case. This one's really pretty when you don't, again, want to wear like a really exaggerated highlight because this is more of a shine, a sheen. No, like, obvious chunks of glitter, but there are some glitters in there, so... This one's good for someone who likes a very thin highlight, who doesn't like to feel a lot of makeup on their skin. Because this one, you can almost just like, it almost like disintegrates into your skin if you keep blending it. It's so buttery soft and so thin in consistency that, you know, you can kind of just like throw it all over and just have like a shiny disco ball face. And it works. Because it's still just a lip from within glow. So, love this one. Next up for my silvers, we have the Kevin Aquan Candlelight, and this thing is so damn small. This is so tiny. Seriously, it's like the size of the eyeshadows almost from Kevin Aquan. And I saw, who did I see talk about this? I've seen a lot of people talk about this. I'm not crazy, like, over the moon about this. I just feel like it's... It's just okay. Like, it's nice for weddings. It's nice for brides. If you are into bridal makeup, I feel like it just gives you a nice sheen. Again, this is just, like, repetitive, but it gives you a nice glow, but it's not stark. But it's definitely thicker in consistency than the Makeup Forever. Like, this one's a little thicker. It's almost like a, a heavy powder. It is quite thick. Like, when you swipe it, it does kind of, like, cake up, if that makes sense. But not in a bad way. Like, I don't know. I'm just not crazy about this one. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people talk about it. It's, again, this is good for like weddings or brides or someone who maybe has a little bit more of a mature skin who doesn't want to do that highlight though. So I guess, I don't know. It, I wanted it in my kit just to have it and I have it. So I'm not crazy about it. I don't really use it that often. Next, this one is so, so good and nobody ever talks about it. Like I feel so passionate about this because 
I love this. I got this on Holt Look when it was on sale. This is the Mirabella Brilliant Mineral Highlighting Powder in Swirling Pearl. And this is so underestimated. Like, I seriously want to pick up all of the other shades because this is so good. So good. First of all, I love the packaging. It kind of looks cheap to you maybe, but to me, I love that I can see the product. When I'm looking for my highlights, like something that catches my eye, something like this because I can just see like the reflex when I'm looking rather than just like an all black packaging. So to me that's pretty cool. Now this one again is in the swirling pearl shade and it has like pink and gold but when you wear it, it's a really pretty like white gold silver. Oh my god, I fall in love with this every single time I wear it. It is so dang pretty. I just, I love this. I feel like Mirabella is such an underestimated company. Like, what the hell? Their brushes are so good. Every time I see them on Holt Look, I like rack up because their, their brushes are just out of this world. And after trying this highlight, like this is a beaming highlight. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really can't say enough good things about it. It is super glittery. Super sparkly, in-your-face highlight. If you like that wet look, this is definitely going to do it. It's one of my favorites, honestly, and I feel like I don't talk about it enough on my channel. But that's because I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of hard for people to get, or it's a little pricey. Or you have to get it from their website. You can't really swatch it. I wish it was in Sephora or anywhere, but it's nowhere. I've only ordered it online, so I love this. I love this so much. This is definitely in my top 10, and I don't talk about it enough, but I should. Next up, we have Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the shade 1. This was talked about so much here on YouTube, this one and number 2, which I obviously have. But basically, it's a highlight and a sculpting powder, which is really not a sculpting powder. It's more of a bronzer. But let's just talk about the highlight, not the bronzer. It's a nice, like, pinky silver. Again, more of a sheen. These Makeup Forever powders are so finely milled that if you just keep on blending them, like, your hand just feels so buttery soft and you're just left with, like, reflex of glitter. Um, I love this. I feel like I wear this one more than the golden one, especially when I don't have a tan. But, I don't know, I love the consistency of this one. I feel like this one is just a little bit more finely milled than the golden, number two. I just, I like this one better. I just always gravitate towards number one, and I feel like I'm the only oddball out with that one. But, I don't know, I just feel like the golden one is just too chunky on the cheeks. But we'll get to that one. We have a lot more to go. Next up, we have Galactic Star Powder in the shade Lace. And this is a loose powder that is basically a silver beaming glitter and I don't wear this enough I really want to because I love Galactic, but I love that it's so thin I don't wear this one enough so I can't really tell you how it looks on the cheeks but I really want to use this on my body because I feel like it's so glittery and so finely milled that you can just kind of dust it everywhere and it looks really good Next up, we have the Too Faced Candlelight Glow, and I guess I could have put this in the golden one, but it's this, like, white, gold, and peachy pink duo, and I really just dipped my brush into the silver side, and this one is very close to Albatross from NARS. It's a white, gold, silver. Here we have the Too Faced Candlelight, and then here is NARS Albatross. Albatross is a bit more golden where the Too Faced Candlelight is more of a pinky silver gold. Compared to the Makeup Forever powders, this Too Faced one is a bit thicker in consistency, but I do like it. If you're into that, like, thicker powder, then you would like this. If you like that, like, makeup, not cakey look, but, like, you have makeup on kind of look, then you would really like this, and the packaging is just really, really cute. I think um, one of you guys recommended this to me, and that's why I got it. Next up, we have two Becca highlights. Becca highlights are probably my all-time favorite. We have Moonstone and we have Opal. Most talked about highlights, well, Opal is, but Moonstone is just so underrated. I feel like so many people just swing by it at Sephora because it just looks so boring in the pan, but on the face, oh my gosh, it is such a pretty color. I just love it. I love Moonstone. I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by this, like, really light, light color. They feel like only fair, fair, fair skin can wear this one, but no. It looks really good. I also really love mixing this with Opal, which is the next highlight I was going to show you. And I guess this one is more of, like, a champagne kind of color. But Opal, I mean, if you haven't heard from Opal and you've been watching my channel, I don't know who you are. I seriously talk about Opal so much, and so does everyone else. It's so hard to see. 
I'm gonna have to like swatch the crap out of it in order for it to show up because it just doesn't show up but yeah it still doesn't show up Opal is more of an apricot kind of finish almost peachy gold and then Moonstone is a like white stark silver beaming highlight and then when you mix them together heaven on earth I've used this on my channel a lot like mixed together my favorites videos if you search Rosita Applebaum Becca Opal Moonstone you will see me use these two in conjunction they counteract each other and really just make a really beautiful sexy combo I'm, I'm all about it it's so good it's so 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 good so love those two and of course they're in my collection I mean why wouldn't they be Next up is also another like all-time favorite of mine, and it's the Hourglass Luminous Light Ambient Lighting Powder. Now, I like this more than the palette that I showed you. If I had to choose between the two, I would definitely just buy this one. And I love to just slap this on my whole face and give myself a really pretty glow. I also have worn this a lot on my channel. What I normally do for a really highlighted, dewy skin is I use this all over, so forehead, cheekbones, nose, chin, everywhere pretty much, like a setting powder almost, with a fan brush obviously, and then I use Becca Opal and Moonstone on the cheeks. That's like my go-to highlight when I don't want to experiment with things and I know like I just want to look glowy, that's what I do. This is great for weddings, great for makeup artists, like so good. I saw Kathleen Lights rave about it and I instantly just picked it up, I was just like, nope, gotta get it, she is amazing, so... Just gotta get it and she did me no wrong with this one I love it like I'm just so obsessed I want to pick up the other ones because the quality of these powders are out of this world I don't know I, I feel like they all look the same but from my experience from actually using these powders on my face and trying literally all of these this one I know it looks similar to a lot of the other ones I showed you but no the consistency it's about the quality of the powder it's how finely milled it is it's just how the powder is constructed and the packaging is really nice too I love the packaging it's kind of big but I like that I don't know I feel like it, it looks expensive you know next up we have Gerard Cosmetics Audrey star powder and this one I haven't really played around with much I think I wore it twice packaging is really pretty it says gold packaging and what's really unique about this one is it has a little like door which is really cute it's like doorway to heaven and this one again is Audrey and I guess I should have put this one in the gold because clearly I forgot that this is a gold highlight but nonetheless it's really pretty and it's a bit thicker in consistency so when I have like problematic skin I don't like thicker powders because I feel like they accentuate your your problems even more like your pores but when you have like a flawless canvas this one looks really really good in beams highlight but just being honest when I have like texture going on there I really don't use the Gerard ones because I feel like they kind of accentuate anything that I have going on there so that's that next we have the balm Mary luminizer and this one is a favorite for so many and for good reason mine is so beat up I feel like I really need a new one honestly this is probably the most beaming highlight that I have. Like, look at that. It almost looks like a liquid highlight. So pretty and so extra. I feel like Mary Luminizer is a favorite for so many because it's just that good. And this is by The Balm, which you can find on Whole Look. Like, I get mine on Whole Look when they're on sale for, like, 10 bucks. But you can also find them in some Dwayne Reeds in Manhattan in New York City. So, yeah. Really good one, and it's an oldie but a goodie. Everyone talks about the Balm Mary Luminizer. There are tons of reviews, so you can search those. Next, we have another drugstore. I guess the Balm I can consider drugstore because they do sell it at a drugstore in New York City. This one is Drugstore 2. It's L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi in the shade Neutral, I guess. Maybe Neutral or Silver, or maybe it's a rose. I don't know. It doesn't have any name on it, but... It's like the pinky white one, and I consider this like a silver highlight. This one is super pigmented as well. Um, it almost has like a white finish, like a true white silver, like iridescent finish. It's very iridescent, almost looks like an eyeshadow. I'm thinking Shroom from MAC. So pretty, I mean, I like this one. I like the other one better that I'm going to show you when I get to the gold. I'm honestly like feeling dead right now.
this one's nice I haven't used it that often next up I have the Tarte Rose Amazonian Clay Shimmering Powder and I love the packaging but eh, it's nice it's nice it's, it's like a rose kind of pinky champagne color I'm not over the moon about this one I really like the packaging but that's about it I feel like I'm just getting oily and oilier as the video goes on. Next, I have Galactic Face Glow in Natural. I love this one. This is actually a new one. I had another one, but if I can open it. Okay, there we go. So this one's a brand new one because I lost my other one. I don't know how, but this one is really unique because it's like a barely there kind of highlight. It's almost like a setting powder like the Hourglass ones. This one you can barely see because it's literally like a barely there kind of powder. You can almost use this as a setting powder, but it does give you like a sheen. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you hate highlights but you kind of want to try a highlight, go for this one because I feel like it still gives you that like glistening effect, but it doesn't give you that whoa like disco ball. If, if you're oily and you don't want that like extreme highlight, this one's great because it's almost like a matte highlight, which is kind of out of this world if you think about it, like a matte highlight, but it, it seriously is. Next, we have Urban Decay Naked Illuminated in the shade Luminous. I love this. It's so, like, my baby. I feel like I neglected it for so long, and now I'm just, like, going to town on it. I love this on my body. I feel like this is straight-up glitter, and sometimes I do use it on my face. Okay, that's not doing anything for me. That's not doing anything for anyone. Okay, that's totally not picking up the glitter. Like, it is so disco ball on my hand right now. I, I wish you guys could see this. It's disco. It's glitter everywhere. Glitter, glitter, glitter. If you love glitter, definitely get this one because it's like a glitter girl's dream. I especially love that one on my legs with some lotion. Girl, you are good to go. Next one is an oldie but a goodie. This one's like an OG highlight. Like, if you think highlight... This is like the one you really think of, like your first highlight. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the old packaging. I don't use this that often because I feel like it accentuates my pores. It's pretty. I don't know. I haven't used it in a while, so I guess I can't really say. Maybe I should use it more. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of people's favorite. It's a really pretty, like, sheen. But when I put it on my face, I feel like you can really see the glitter. Like, here on my hand, it looks gorgeous. I'm like, why am I not using this more? But... On my face, I always feel like when I wear it, it just you can see like my pores and my like trouble areas and my just uneven texture. So I don't know, maybe I should give that one a try. Next is a Laura Mercier loose powder, and this is the mineralize no mineral illuminating powder in candlelight. I don't really like these like loose powders because I feel like they're just so big and clunky, but I do like them on my body. Now this one I like completely messed up the sifter so it's just a hot mess in there but this one is a really pretty um almost like champagne opal but in loose powder form it's so nice i feel like i'm saying that about all of them <laughs> obviously i'm a highlight junkie and obviously they're all nice to me but i'm not crazy about this one I, just because of the packaging there's like powder everywhere and like powder literally everywhere that's why I don't really like this one. That's like my biggest con with it is the packaging. If it was just a little better, like smaller, I would like this. But I just don't reach for that one because it's really annoying to wear. Next up, we have these Laura Geller Baked Highlighter. I have Golden Rose, French Vanilla, and Portofino. I'm not really going to go into all of them. My favorite one is Portofino because it's the most pigmented and the most beautiful in my opinion. It's like a really pretty silver, like silver dusk color. Is that a word, silver dusk? Am I making that up? But <laughs> it's like totally glittery. I'm like totally spacing this video because I'm just like overwhelmed by highlight. Okay, fine. Let me just swatch the other ones. Okay, we have Golden Rose, which is pretty. It's okay. I'm not crazy about it. And then French Vanilla, like, I don't even know. This doesn't even show up. Like, I feel like I can use this underneath my eyes to set it. Because it's like matte. Like, I don't even know why they did that to me. You see, this one just shines bright like a diamond. These two are just, like, high on highlights right now. Totally. Last silver is the Laura Mercier Highlight Number 1. And this is their Matte Radiance Baked Powder. So, again, this is a matte highlight. Like, that kind of just blows my mind. Like, how can a highlight be matte? But, I don't know. It just is. This one's really pretty. A lot of people are starting to love this one a lot more. 
it's just like a really nice wet looking highlight like it's kind of ironic that they call this one matte because I feel like this is the least matte of all my highlights it's so reflective and so like wow in your face I feel like I should use this one more I feel like I would use it more if I actually had the real one this is a sample deluxe sample size of it it bothers me to have this like this little baby version I mean it's the same product but I don't know it's just me in my head I don't like using it because it's a baby size and I'm totally just discriminating it because of its size totally this is going to be the longest video on my channel. I already know it. I already know it. Next up, we have Drugstore. Woo woo! Now we're starting off with the Peachy Pinks. And this is the Physician's Formula Natural Nude. This is my favorite highlight from the Drugstore. Aside from the True, True Match Lumi from L'Oreal, this one is so pretty. Alexis put me on from Num One Lex. Oh my god. It is so nice. It's like a beautiful rose gold finish. Like, this is drugstore. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. It's drugstore, and it's so good. Like, under $10. Sometimes a little over, I guess, if you get it, like, not on sale. But Physician's Formula, you gotta look for the 40% off girl at CVS. Yes. And this one doesn't really have the number on it, but I believe there are two. This one's the Nude Glam... I don't know, it doesn't really say, but okay, you have to look for the one that has like white, peach, and like a little golden bronze kind of there, because I know there's another one. I know there's like another shade of it. I haven't tried that one, but this one is good. Like this one's probably my top 10 too, I guess. Probably my top 10 is like a top 20. <laughs> Next up we have Starlight by Kevin Aquan, the Celestial Powder. Now, I showed you guys Candlelight, and this is Starlight. Now, Jacqueline, of course, put me on. I love this as a blush topper because it's so pink and on her it looks phenomenal, radiant, beautiful. Like, oh my god. It is so pretty on top of a blush, especially like a matte blush. You just throw this on top like all over the blush area and you are glowing, girl. Love that one. I'm sorry, but blows candlelight out of the water. Next, we have three Bobbi Browns and the first one is Sandstone. And this is what it looks like. I love Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. I don't really like this part of the packaging. I feel like it's kind of in the way of the product. Like you get this little square but this huge packaging. Okay, this is Sandstone and this is like a true rose gold shade. I know they have one that's like a rose gold shade but this one to me is like a golden rose. Love it. Can't say enough good things. No glitter, just sheen. Beautiful. Next, we have this limited edition one, which was Pink Glow, and I love Pink Glow. I just love it, love it so much. It's like a pink swirl with white. So dang pretty. I love it. It's a pinky color. It's a lot pinkier than Sandstone. Sandstone is more of a rose gold, where this one's more of a true pink, like a pink silver. Next, we have Apricot, or Apricot, also by Bobbi Brown, and this is a more of a peachy kind of apricot shade and I like to just like swirl in there you know you can use like one side of the brick but I feel like when you swirl them all together you really get like all the colors and a nice finish so this one is more of a peach so here we have sandstone pink glow and then apricot from Bobbi Brown all different we have a peachy we have a pink and then we have a golden rose and I love them I have one more Bobbi Brown, but I'm going to show you guys that one when I talk about the gold highlights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm dying. Next up, we have Gerard Cosmetics Lucy Star Powder. And this one is really close to one I'm going to show you soon. And this one is a true like rose gold, deeper highlight. Perfect for deeper skin tones. Amazing as a blush topper. Again, all of these are so pretty as blush toppers. Now, let's do the test. Is this a dupe for Becca Rose Gold? I have Becca Rose Gold and let's do the swatch. Oh my god. Isn't it so pretty? Like, I just got this because of the packaging, honestly. Now, off the bat, the Becca is a little bit smoother and a little bit softer. And it's a bit less of a sheen. Like, the Gerard has more of a highlight built in. The Becca is a little more flat and more matte than the Gerard. I like the Gerard one, I think, better. Because it's just more of a highlight. Where this one is just more of a blush, to me. This is Becca Blush Copper. I believe it was limited edition. 
So here's blush copper, and then this is the Gerard Cosmetics Lucy. Honestly, I like Lucy better. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I like that sheen more when it's that, like, copper color. So I am an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics, so I do have a coupon code, which is Rosita. So, yeah, just letting you know. And then we have Smashbox Shimmer Soft Lights, and the color is Shimmer. And they have another one, but this is like the pinkier one, and I don't use this that often anymore. I feel like I use this more in the winter time because it's a pink, but it's that like reflective shroom looking kind of pink. White, but pink, but iridescent, but beautiful. I like this one when I'm a little bit more fair, when I don't have any type of color. This looks so good because it just gives you like a luminous finish when you're tan with this one it just looks very stark and very like uh, not cute next up is probably my favorite highlight of all time and it's Becca champagne pop I have this on right now I love champagne pop I have two of them because it's that good and I I just I'm so proud of Jacqueline like I don't want to get emotional because I just watched a video her vlog on champagne pop see I'm getting emotional can't do it I just can't do it I don't want to get emotional, but I just feel so connected to this highlight because she's a YouTuber and it's so inspiring to see someone come out with something so big with Becca. Like, Becca has always been, like, my go-to highlight, like, all of their highlights. So, to own one that a YouTuber collaborated with is just so amazing. I am so proud of her, but it's a beautiful highlight. I love this one. It's a peachy pinky kind of like apricot shade I put it in the pinks because and the peaches because it does have like a peachy pink finish but on the cheeks it looks more golden on me anyway but it looks different on everyone I feel like everyone can use this I know a lot of people were complaining because they feel like not every skin tone can use this but I feel like you can you just have to use the right fan brush um, but yeah I love champagne pop I love it I love it I have it all over I just want to bathe in it like it's that good it's so buttery so so buttery that sometimes when people have them shipped, like if you order online, it can come cracked. That's how that's how soft it is. I mean, that's not a good thing, but it's kind of a good thing because it just means the consistency is so soft. Mine didn't break and I've dropped them, but I'm just saying, I've heard that people have dropped them or it's come broken. So, moving on. That's my favorite, by the way. One of my favorites. I guess I can't really say I have a favorite. Anyway, we have the Balm Cindy Luminizer and... This is like Mary Luminizer. This is Cindy, her little sister. What's her little I'm making that up. This is Cindy, Mary's sister, and it's her pink sister. So I think I would use this more as a blush, not really a highlight, because it doesn't really have much of a sheen. I mean, it has a little bit of a sheen, but not like, oh my god, you have a highlight on. Like, if I do Cindy Luminizer, I would still do a highlight on top, but this is good for someone who is very fair and can't find a light blush that doesn't look very like clown-ish on them so I love that and again I get those on Holt Look next up I have a limited edition one and this is MAC Fairly Precious I used to abuse this one I love this one I'm so scared to like hit pan on it I guess I'm almost hitting pan on it when I got this I think this was last year I abused it like it is such a pretty sheen I love the texture of these extra dimension skin finishes so good like they nailed it like I don't know what they did but they did it right it's so glowy and it just gets me so happy that one love it fairly precious I love that one I don't use it that often on my channel one it's limited edition and two it's limited edition next we have Laura Mercier shimmer block in peach mosaic this one's a newer addition to my family and this one is pretty this one's a type that will accentuate your pores if you have large pores on your cheeks. So I don't really wear this one as much. I mean, I like it. It's new. I haven't played around with it enough. Um, I feel like you really have to blend this one out because it is that, like, obvious, like, stripe kind of highlight, if that makes sense. Next up, we have two drugstore, and I have the Wet n Wild Fergie in, of course, it peels off. I think this one's called Hollywood. Hollywood Boulevard something like that and this one is I guess I should have put this in the gold but because I had a little bit of pink I put it in the pinks this one is straight up gold and I like it I'm not crazy about the formula I just I don't know it just doesn't do it for me but then I have this one which is rose champagne glow and I haven't even opened this one so I'm not even gonna go and go and open it because 
This is a collection video, right? So I don't have to open each one, right? Okay. Don't hate me, but I have this one. It's pink. I don't know. I just, I never really, like, go for these because I feel like they just don't do my face justice. They don't really blend in as nicely. Those were all of my silver and peaches and apricots and pinks. I almost died there. Next we have gold, which everyone's favorite. Golden highlights. Everybody loves a golden highlight, so let's get the show on the road. Oh wait, I have this one. This one's kind of like pinky gold, so I guess this could be like your transition. This is the Giella I Am Glam Mineral Highlighter. The, sh the color is I Am Glam, like the eye, your eye, Am Glam. And I put this one in my favorites video for good reason. Love this stuff. Like, this is my secret weapon. I use this on every single client. Give them that glow. I have this on on top of Champagne Pop. This is just that extra topping. I feel like it's the perfect topper to your highlight. I wouldn't just use this alone. I mean, I guess I would, but perfect topper. Like, it is just so great on top of any highlight because it gives you that, like, wet finish that I love. So... I feel like I should start swatching on this hand because this hand is getting tired. Next, we have the gold. So we have the Jouer, Jouer, Jouer highlight in Tiare, Tiare. And this is a cream highlight. I didn't really include my other cream highlights because I have not a lot, but I didn't, I just, this video is already long enough. But this is a golden kind of cream highlight. It's not really showing up here but it's really pretty I don't really like cream highlighters I mean I actually use this as a base so today I have on this one as a base and then champagne pop and then the Giella I am glam three layers of cake right there but this one is nice I just I'm not crazy about it like when Desi uses it it looks fantastic amazing beautiful but she has really good skin so on me it's just uh, it's just not the same but Next up, we have one of my favorites, definitely top 10, Kiko Shadow in 208, baby. This is an eyeshadow. Mine's a little broken. I'm really sad about that, but it is so soft that it breaks really easily. This is straight up gold. Like, I don't know. Can you see that? Straight up reflective gold. I feel like this is better than Whisper of Guilt, honestly. While I'm swatching Whisper of Guilt next to it, this is MAC Whisper of Guilt, by the way. It is a cult favorite. It is what everyone refers to. Like, when you see a golden highlight, everyone's like, is it a dupe for Whisper of Guilt? Is it a dupe for Whisper of Guilt? All right. Let's just, let's just get this out there. Whisper of Guilt is nice, but there's so many other highlights. Like, we don't have to compare everything to Whisper of Guilt. I'm honestly so... That one, and so this is MAC Whisper of Guilt, which is part of my golden highlights. Another one that everyone talks about. Heat Wave by Estee Lauder, which is also limited edition. Ooh. The Whisper of Guilt and the Heat Wave are limited edition, so you can find these on Amazon for like a ridiculous amount of money. And everyone is always comparing every highlight to these two. So here we have Heat Wave, we have Whisper of Guilt, and then the Kiko. Like, honestly, they're all just really pretty golden highlights. I, I don't know. I just feel like the consistency, I like Heat Wave and the Kiko the best. I like Whisper of Guilt too, but it's just not as strong of a highlight. I don't know. I, I feel like they're all dupes for each other because they're all gold. Like, they're all gold. They're all gold. Let's just get that out of the way. They're all gold. My next highlight that's gold is Laura Geller Gilded Honey and this is probably top 10. I feel like my top 10 I'm not really counting. I feel like it turned into more than 10 but definitely one of my go-to's. Oh my god. This is gold. Okay. They're all gold. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Consistency wise I like this one a lot. It's so finely milled. It's perfectly made. I just feel like it gives you that gold sheen but it doesn't give you like that cakey look. Love Gilded Honey. Gilded Honey, Heat Wave, Whisper of Guilt, and Kiko Shadow number 208 are all dupes for each other. I don't want to hear it. They're all dupes for each other, and that's that. <laughs> Next, we have this one, which is also limited edition, Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. This is also a cult favorite. I haven't used mine that much because, again, it's limited edition. This one is more of a bronzy gold. It's not a true gold like the other ones, but the consistency on this one is finely finely milled where it gives you that like sheen but it doesn't give you that stark highlight like this one would 
So this is Gilded Honey and this is Bronze Glow. Bobbi Brown really just gets it with the highlights. Like, she got it down packed. So this one is really, really good. And I, and I do like it, but I don't use it because, again, it's limited edition and I don't want to waste it. Next up, we have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the warm undertone. And I think this one's called Golden. And it is a really pretty golden highlight. This one isn't as pigmented as the other ones that we're talking about, like Whisper of Gills and all of that. Like, it barely shows up. It's nice for a drugstore highlight, like under 10 bucks. I like it. But I'm not crazy about it. Like, look at the difference between these two and that one. Come on. Let's get real. <laughs> Next up, we have this MAC Golden Bronze Iridescent Powder. Again, one of these, like, jumbo packages. And... I love this for my deeper complexions. I feel like I haven't used it, and I really should because it is so pretty. I remember, who did I see use this? Um, Lover for Fashion. She uses this, and it looks so dang good on her. Holy moly, like, this looks like pure golden, like, just greatness on her. On me, it's a little too dark, um, but I, I still love it. I feel like when I have a nice tan going... It can look like a highlight. If I wear this now, it'll look more like a bronzer, like a, a shimmery bronzer. But it's really pretty, and I feel like not a lot of people talk about that one either, and they should, because it's good. Then we have this Laura Geller uh, Baked Swirl Illuminator in Ballerina. So this is not the Gilded Honey, this is her sister, which is Ballerina, Gilded Honey sister. And this is more of a rose gold shade. If you don't like gold, and you like more of like a peachy rose gold kind of color then this one's perfect it doesn't reflect as much light as gilded honey because i am so fair but on like a darker skin tone this one looks so good like a copper pinky peach just so gorgeous i love the the texture and the consistency of the laura geller ones like they're baked gelato swirl like doesn't that just sound so edible like don't you just want to eat it up like i mean obviously because it says gelato but like baked gelato swirl i don't know i just feel like the name alone just gets me every time. Then we have this uh, Gerard Cosmetics Marilyn Star Powder. I have all three powders, by the way. So this is Marilyn. And Marilyn is a true gold. I feel like this looks like a true, like, 24 karat gold block. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but in person, it's a very yellow gold. I feel like this looks like, you know, Indian jewelry where it's that, like, really yellow gold. That's what that one looks like. I don't use it that often, I just, it's not the most flattering on me, but I like it. I mean, I like all of them. Next up, we have MAC Daddy Diamond Glow Powder, uh, the Artist Couture Powder, actually, I should say, not MAC Daddy. It's Artist Couture by MAC Daddy and Conceited. This is the only one that I have from his line, and I love this stuff. Super glittery. Like, super. I feel like I should use this more often, because I do like that, like, stark highlight, but... Oh, it's so pretty. Like, I wish you guys could see it. It looks wet in person. Wet. Wet, Sunday. Wet. Like, why? Why is that so damn reflect? Why is it so reflective? Like, please tell me. When I first got that one, I would abuse it. Next up, we have Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in shade number two. And this is the number one's sister. And this is like a true gold. When you swatch it on your hand, it looks really buttery soft, but I feel like on my face, it just doesn't look as smooth, but I do like it. I'm not going to say I don't like it. I like it. I just don't go, I don't know, I don't use it as much. I use like the gelato from Laura Geller a lot more, the Gilded Honey, I'm like blanking out. This one I still haven't opened either, which is really bad. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection Rose Golden Goddess. I don't know why I haven't opened these. I feel like this isn't really a highlight at this point. It's like a bronzer for me, but I haven't even opened it, so that goes to show you. Then we have MAC Global Glow. Also, don't really use this guy. I gotta admit, I don't like the packaging at all on this guy. It's just not cute. It's pretty. It's called, again, Global Glow. It's like a bronzer kind of highlight shebang kind of this is like a duo like a bronzer and highlight in one again don't use that one often we're almost done i promise next up is one of my favorites this is the inglot sparkling dust face eye body powder in shade two love this it's been in my favorites before it's one of these like ugly big clunky highlights because it's loose 
but I don't mind this one as much because it's not as like big but this is just straight up gold <laughs> glitter it's so dang reflective like you can literally see yourself from Mars when you wear this I wore this in the boyfriend tag and I'm gonna try to have links of videos when I'm like wearing certain highlights I don't know if that would be helpful but I know in the boyfriend tag I was wearing this and my highlight was strong that day girl it was strong there we go you can use all of these all over your body but this one's specific for body and face because it's so glittery and so finely milled that you can just like rub it all over and have like a really pretty sheen and I love putting it on my legs and on my chest it looks so good next up we have this elf sunkiss glow bronzer and I know it's a bronzer so the shade is sunkiss but you can use it as a highlight Kathleen lights put us all onto this one I feel like I got a really bad batch of this one I feel like on Kathleen it looks so much better on me it's just like meh can't even see it it's just not really shiny and her it's like a beautiful bronzy glow and it's three dollars I feel like everyone gets a different like batch I don't know mine is just not as highlighty as hers but and she's pretty fair so that one was like three bucks at Target so I said what the hey I'll get it anyway and I don't really use it next up we have another drugstore woo woo we have the what is this I'm like looking at it hard candy tiki highlight and I like this one again I'm not like crazy about it it's nice it's really nice for like drugstore. I got this at Walmart. It gives you that like wet look that I keep talking about because it's a sheen and it's not a glitter. It doesn't have any glitter. When I say sheen and when I say it gives you that lip from within look means or that wet look, it means it has no glitter. So it gives you like a reflective wet look. Like it looks like you are dewy and sweaty almost. Almost like borderline sweaty. But I, I do like that one. It's a great drugstore highlight, like great. It's a little pricier for drugstore. I think it was like $10, $11, $12 range from Walmart. But it's still pretty inexpensive. Next we have MAC Superb, also limited edition. I'm sorry, part of the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Whenever skin finishes, Extra Dimension Skin Finishes come out and they're limited edition, get your hands on them. Trust me on this one. MAC comes out with amazing highlights and powders where they're limited edition and which really sucks because then you can never get your hands on them and it's like what the heck Mac this one is a like rose gold copper kind of shade pinky like I was saying about fairly precious this one is so great because it's so finely milled it's just like ah, it gets me so excited because it's so good this is superb and I love superb like this one and fairly precious I was just abusing them but now I like lay my hands off of them because I don't want to waste it and then have to spend like $200 on Amazon to get one which I don't even know if it's real or not so yeah trying to preserve mine next up I have Laura Mercier Mercier indiscretion illuminator and I thought this was limited edition but I always see it at Sephora now it's this gorgeous I feel like this is my prettiest highlight because it just looks like no, like a goddess would wear this. I'm just getting a little crazy. At this point, I feel like I'm inhaling highlight and I'm just going crazy. In the pan, I feel like it's very misleading because it looks very golden, bronze. But on the cheek, it looks more of like a rose gold kind of shade. So nice. So finely milled. Way like more finely milled than the other Le Mercier, the Shimmer Block. This one doesn't give you that like, ew, like, oh my god, you look like you have pimples there when you don't kind of look. You know what I'm talking about? This one doesn't because it's a sheen. Laura Mercier Shimmer Block is more of a shimmer. Sheen, shimmer, different. So I love this one. It's really good. And I thought it was a limited edition, so I wasn't using it. But now I'm going to like bust it out because I always see it there. So I'm like, Sephora, you played me. I thought you <laughs> I thought you told me that was limited edition. Okay, I put that all the way in the back of my jar, like not trying to use it. And it's it's always there. I'm, I'm like walking by it like, oh, there's indiscretion. I should probably use mine. Next we have this NARS. It's actually a blush, their dual intensity blush in Jubilation. And I use it as a highlight because they are kind of highlighty colors. And you get two shades. You get a peach and you get a gold. I mainly use the gold. And it is just wham bam. So pretty. So pretty. I, I love these because you can kind of mix them together and get like a really pretty sheen. But um, this one's really finely milled because it's supposed to be a blush. So when you think about it, when, when manufacturers are making blushes, they make them really like powder, not powdery, but like very soft. So that's what they did with this one. So 
it's great that you can use it as a highlight because you're going to get that soft buttery feel, but it still looks like a highlight. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel good me? You guys better like thumbs up this video. I'm just saying. Next up, we have MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Again, one of the old packaging in Gold Deposit. I don't really use this as a highlight, but more as a like blush topper. If you are darker in complexion, you can use this as a highlight. I use this as a blush topper or like a bronzer kind of blush topper. It's so pretty on darker skin. Amazing bronzy gold. On fair skin and like tan skin, it's nice as a bronzer just like all over the cheek. Like in the summertime, you can just use this on the cheeks instead of blush and bronzer. And it just gives you that like golden goddess like after the beach look. So it's nice. It's permanent. They always have it. They just have it in that like ugly packaging now. But gold deposit has always just been ride or die. And I feel like depending on which one you get, you get more gold or more bronze. Mine was like a good equal amount of both. Next we have NARS Albatross. I talked about this um, comparing them to a couple of other ones. This is like a true, oh my god, this is so good. It's almost like a mermaid color. This camera is not doing this justice, but it's a true like yellow gold, white gold amazingness. Like, honestly, like I don't know why I don't use this more. I just feel like I should. I feel like all these highlights are just like now like, um, Rose, why haven't you used me? Hello, this is amazing. It looks so good. But I have a dupe for you. So, if you like the NARS Albatross kind of white gold look, but you don't want to shout out the money, I got a dupe for you. Sephora Stardust Powder. It's a highlight. Not limited edition. It's this little dude right here, which doesn't look like it would be much. So, this is pretty much a dupe for that one. This is the Sephora Stardust. It's kind of a dupe. I feel like the Sephora one is a little more white gold, and the Albatross, mine anyway, is more of a true yellow gold if you can see that right here this is albatross and this is stardust so i mean if you don't want to shell out the money for the nars just get the sephora one because it's going to give you the same similar effect on the cheeks i feel like anyone can use these kind of colors they're pretty versatile oh i totally forgot to mention this one before in my peachy pinks this is becca rose gold and i'm going to go ahead and swatch lucy from gerard cosmetics next to it I feel like Lucy is a better dupe for Becca Rose Gold than for Becca Copper Gold. Copper Gold? Blush Copper. I'm like mixing all these names up. I feel like Lucy is a better dupe for Becca Rose Gold rather than Becca Blush Copper. Does that make sense? Okay, here we go. Let's get the let's let's do the breakdown here. Rose Gold from Becca, Blush Copper from Becca, and then Lucy from Gerard. I feel like these two are more similar than these two or these two. No? Yes? Maybe? I'm not really good at these, like, dupe things, okay? Don't kill me, but I, I don't know. In my opinion, and then my last highlight is this Estee Lauder Topaz Chameleon. This one is so pretty to look at. Like, oh my god. Limited edition, I'm sorry, but it's so pretty. Like, look at that, like, so nice. And actually, I got this one gifted to me from Glambot. And look at that. Like straight up liquid gold. <sighs> it's so pretty. I die. I die. I don't even use this because it's so pigmented and so extra. I don't even use it. But I feel like I should when I have a tan. But I feel like that looks way better on darker skin tones. On me, it's just like just extreme. But if you made it to this part of the video, I feel like I should make shirts that says like you made it to the end of Rosita's highlight video. Like yes or no. Yes or no? Because that was a lot, girls. And I still didn't even talk about, like, liquid illuminators and, like, highlight liquid highlights. <sighs> I don't have too many liquid highlights, but I, I kind of kept them out except for the Jouer one, Jouer, because I feel like that one is talked about more. And I didn't mention, like, Lorac Tantalizer or the Milani, like, blushes that you can use as highlights. I kind of left those out. These are, like, my main highlights. The ones I actually categorize as highlights in my highlight drawer. There are also other powders like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Face Sculpt and Highlight that has a highlight built in, but I didn't mention this one. I love this one. Might as well mention it right now. <laughs> I love this one. It gives you like, like a sheer highlight, not like an extreme highlight, so I guess that's why I didn't really mention it, but thank you for sticking with me through this whole video. I know it was painful. I know it was a lot to take in. I have a lot of highlights. I kind of told you guys which ones were my favorites as I went along, but I feel like I should still do a separate video on like top 10 favorite highlights. 
and try to like find pictures of me wearing them or what I can do is I can get my top 10 favorites and from now on whenever I do my makeup wear one of them take pictures of them so I can post them in the video does that sound good I feel like that sounds like a good plan and I think we should do that so so again thank you for watching this video I know it was long and thumbs up the video for the top 10 favorite highlights this has been highly highly requested I have a little bit of a video showing you guys like what this all looks like on a table in, on my Instagram at Beauty by Rosita, I like just showed you guys like just straight up highlight. I do kind of want to count how many highlights I do own, but whatever, I'm rambling. So I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed this video. I did it for you, even though it was very painful and my throat wants to kill me. So thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Wow.